Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video we'll be taking a look at the bigger brother of the Zavi speaker set. This is the Evora from Trust. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we'll be taking a look at a set of 2.1 desktop speakers which are USB powered from Trust. These are the Evora 2.1 speaker set, and as you can see, they are the kind of the bigger brother of the Ziva set, which we reviewed a while back, which you can check out up here. These were actually really good. Considering they only cost nine pounds, word to the wise, I did actually pick up both these on a Amazon deal. So they both cost 9.99. At the moment, this one normally retails for around about 18 pounds. So a little bit dearer. These normally retail for around about 15 pounds. So obviously, depending on which you want, then yeah, there are price points available for the different sizes, different shapes, etc., etc. Anyway, enough waffling. This is a 12 watt system, sounding pretty good. This is an 18 watt system, has larger speakers, it also has a wooden cabinet for the subwoofer. So in theory, you'd think bigger means better, but that is what we're gonna be looking to find out in this review. So let's start concentrating on these. So this is the Avora, as you can see, 2.1 speaker set for PC and laptop, 18 watts, and it works off USB power, so no power brick required. On the side, again, pretty much same deal, wooden subwoofer, USB powered, 18 watts, USB, PC, laptop, etc. On the back of the box goes into a little bit more details of the specifications. So yes, 18 watts, although it's only nine watts RMS split across the three speakers. Um, yeah, wooden cabinet, pretty small, pretty cost effective. So in theory, should be pretty decent. When we open up the box, we are greeted with a trust frequently asked questions list and also how to set them up. But again, very simple to do, literally a couple of cables, no real deals there. And also you've got a legal compliance notification leaflet. Next up, we've got the two satellite speakers. So these are uh, yeah, pretty small little speakers. I will put some measurements on the screen so you can see exactly how big they are. But as you can see, it's a plastic cabinet, as you probably expected this price point, with a small kind of sub mid in the middle there, which takes care of the treble and mid range. Um, it may produce a little bit of bass, but I wouldn't have thought so at that particular size. On the back of the cabinet, there is a very small base port, although whether that actually makes any difference at all, we really don't know. One nice thing to see is these are connected by RCA type cables, so that's uh, pretty decent rather than having just bare cables that you clip in, which you do on some of these cheaper devices. So yeah, pretty good. And also, being that it is an RCA type jack, if you wanted to, you could extend them a little bit further. Although the cable on these is listed as being 130 centimeters, so you can get a little bit of distance from the subwoofer. Looking at the second speaker, again, exactly the same deal, same setup, um, just we have a different color for the actual connector on the back. Next up, we have the uh, the subwoofer, and as you can see, again, it's a pretty uh, pretty small little device. You've got a base port on the front there, or I guess you'd call it the front. Technically, I suppose there isn't really a front of this because you can leave it pretty much wherever you want to. It has actually got some pretty nice raised feet on the bottom with some foam pads, and at the bottom we can see the uh, rather minuscule subwoofer. Whether or not that is going to actually produce much bass at all, I don't know. It uh, yeah. doesn't fill me with a great deal of confidence, I've got to be honest. As we said, the, uh, the whole cabinet is wooden. So, pretty lightweight construction though, even though it is wood, but certainly I guess wood is going to be better than plastic. Looking at the back of the unit, so we've got our connections for the speakers. So we've got our left and right, which is on those RCA connections, which you can see there. You've also got a fly lead, which is again, 130 centimeters, which terminates in a 3.5 mil jack and also USB for power. Then also there is a LED on the back to tell you if the device is powered. And also you've got the top one there, which is your volume control knob. And underneath we've got a bass control knob to raise or lower the bass frequencies. So yeah, overall looks to be pretty decent, but we won't know until we actually try them out. So let's head over to the YouTube creator library and put some tunes through it. So there are the speakers set up, so all we've got to do is plug them in, and you do have to plug in both, so 3.5mm jack and our USB, so let's do the USB first of all, and we'll plug it into a USB 3 port on this laptop, and yep, we've got power lights on the rear, and next we'll plug in to the headphone jack, as we generally do when we're testing these kinds of devices. So that is it, essentially we are ready to rock, so let's turn the volume right down, and we'll turn the bass right up, and then turn it up maybe... Uh, about a quarter, and let's see what the sound is actually like. So let's try a few windows dings first of all, just to make sure it's not crazy loud. That kind of works. So let's try some uh, music now and see what uh, 
<laughs> see what the sound quality is like. That actually sounded a little bit muffled. I don't know whether because it's facing away. Let's try it again, actually, with the uh, the windows ding. It does seem a little bit on the uh, the muffled side. Let's try that a little bit louder. So, not entirely sure what happened there. We had a little bit of a crash in the Windows subsystem for audio. So that is the Windows ding, which actually sounds a little bit weird. There's definitely a little bit of a kind of strange resonance there. Let me get the uh, speaker next to the lav. Let's see if this one's the same. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit of a, a weird twang to the noise. So let's try some uh, music. That's probably a fairer test. So I'm going to set the speaker volume to 100% in Windows. And we'll lower that down a little bit. Find our levels as we go through. So... So that is with the bass on pretty much full. Um, there is a little bit of bass I can feel through the desk, but it's very, very minimal. Very minimal. All right, let's turn it up a little bit. So around about half volume is pretty much the sweet spot before it starts distorting too much. Let's turn that down a little bit and let's try something else. Bobby Brown. It doesn't seem to be any bass to it at all. It doesn't kick. So that's with the bass turned off completely on the subwoofer. That's on full. It does add a little bit more of a, a little bit more depth there, but you wouldn't consider that to be a subwoofer, in my opinion. really nice, actually quite sharp. Let's get quite loud. Just doesn't seem to be any bass. Okay, I think we've pretty much
much had enough of that. So, difficult to uh, summarise this one. I'm actually disappointed, I've got to be honest with you, I am very disappointed. Considering what the other ones were like, the Zevas, the Zevas were actually pretty decent, they had a little bit of base to them. But these, considering you've got a wooden subwoofer, and in theory you've got six extra watts of power going into them, even though, again, it's only 9 RMS between all three speakers, so we're probably looking like 5 RMS for the subwoofer and like 2 each for the su for the satellite. So, it's... I was expecting more, I've got to be honest with you. The bass is extremely lacking, considering they've put this as being an emphasis on the subwoofer and having a wooden subwoofer enclosure. Albeit, obviously, looking at the wood, it's very thin, kind of almost like thick hardboard, so it's a... Uh, it's pretty rigid. There's nothing actually inherently wrong with the box itself. I just don't think that the speaker that they've used in there is particularly good. And I'm actually tempted to take it out and see what the speaker looks like. You may well see that in B-roll footage uh, after I've edited this. So, yeah. Let's take a look at this pragmatically. So, for the 9.99 that I spent, or 9.97, whichever it was, it's a set of speakers, it produces audio, it's obviously going to be far superior to built-in laptop speakers and that kind of thing. Whether or not I would recommend going out and spending the now £17 or even £20 on these as a setup for your kind of home entertainment system, maybe for your TV or for your laptop, or even your desktop for that matter, I generally think there's better options available. Uh, something like the, the Logitech ones we reviewed a while back, which you can check out up here, even though that was just a two speaker setup, the, um, the frequencies, the warmth, the bass even, was considerably better. So I would certainly uh, recommend those at a very similar price. Let me know what you think of them in the comments section. They do look, they do look the part. And when you see them, like this subwoofer, and you think this little speakers, it does look, it looks pretty decent, but I think this is uh, definitely a sheep in wolf's clothing, possibly. Anyway, let me know what you think about these in the comments section below. We will put links to them, so if you do want to pick them up, if maybe bass isn't your thing and you just want to listen to uh, some podcasts or some TV or something, you don't really want to experience all those low frequency rumbles, then these are going to be absolutely fine. Let's be completely honest about this. They're usable, but for me personally, I don't think they would be enough to upgrade they certainly don't have enough base for my personal preferences. But like I said, let me know what you think in the comments section below. So this has been the Trust Avora speaker set. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews now too. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.